Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty, where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm off screen, obviously. We're going to be doing another drawer reorganization. This is the fourth drawer that we're taking apart and putting together. Um, in this particular drawer, I had one of these bins that was filled with a ton of powder product type things. And I pulled everything out. And I also have a huge bin of, let me see if I can do this, colorful, beautiful cream products, all the way ranging from highlighters to bronzers to different color blushes. Oh my gosh, just there's so much stuff here. So I am going to try to put now these powder products, these are like overstock in, like I cannot fit them in the regular drawers that they go in. So I'm putting them in this drawer as overstock, excuse me, overstock, but also um, I want to make this just for cream products. I feel like it would just make so much more sense to have a drawer that has all the cream products in it. And I originally had all of the this bin of cream products in with my face palettes and then half my face palettes were put in this drawer, which did not make any sense. Now all of my face palettes are in one drawer. And I can have all of my cream products in one drawer with just some overstock stuff. So we're going to start with the, um, let me see here. I want to check one thing first. If I put this in here, will this close? No. If I put it out of the drawer, will it close? No. Okay, so this one I'm not really sure what I want to do with. It's just the tiniest bit too tall for this drawer. And I don't really want to put it on its angle or laying down, but I guess I'm going to have to. Um, okay. So that being said, um, my mindset, because I do have quite a few large bronzer type products that don't quite fit anywhere. I was going to put them in this back area, just like in here, because there's really not much that's going on here. And I wasn't able to get that drawer stuff. So if I do need to put any of that down at some point, I will just do that at a different time. And I do have some space in the side of this drawer. You're not going to be able to really see on screen, but there's quite a gap here. So I can probably do something with that, say with the highlighters. Like I'm just probably going to throw them in there now. Yeah, I'll see. I'm going to leave them for the end because I, I want to be able to see this drawer really well. But anyway, okay. So that being said, I think if I put all these bronzers in here, that's going to be... A little high but I don't touch those right now so there's a bronzer a contour powder and another face contour powder let me just take a look at these before I get too quick um, yeah I'm okay leaving these where they are right now if I need to grab one I can grab one at a later date they just this drawer is just a little too short for these to fit upright like to have them in the drawer like this so it's unfortunate but it is what it is now um i think let's see this juvia's one is a little oh that could be like a drawer separator because <laughs> i really don't need anything in behind there right now and i'm just going to try and put everything else in the front if this glam light, okay, so the glam light one is just a little, a little too tall to be upright. So I think I will have to lean it on its side. That's perfectly fine like that. And then um, I think that's all I need for powders and then just the highlighters. And eventually I will have room in my highlighter drawer. I have a highlighter slash bronzer drawer, so I don't fit everything I have like one tiny little section of bronzers and the rest is all highlighters I really need to do a declutter in my highlighters at some point so okay um so let's go ahead and work on the I'm gonna pull out all the bigger stuff right now so we have the Sephora face or the blush palette the Ilia blush palette I have a Fenty Duo. Anything that sits upright, I'm going to separate. <coughs> I have this one. This is like a little stack. I have a Stila. This is a quad. 
yeah it has four colors in it so this is a quad that I got gifted to me I believe that was from J I want to say Jaylon um yeah and then everything else is just like small like really small so um I'm gonna pull these back out because now that these are separated and then what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> because there's not many of those I'll probably put them at the back um and then I think oh man I'm so undecided on what to do with this I am so undecided because everything fits I'm gonna show you this everything fits so nicely in this container upright like all of my little blushes are upright and it just looks so cute but I don't have any super tall drawers anymore like none of the taller drawers from my Alex 9 drawer those drawers are all used so <coughs> excuse me now I need to figure out what I want to do <laughs> okay um, I'm going to separate all of my regular brush blushes. I'm going to put them over here beside me. I actually have a tray that I'm putting things in right now. So I'm going to do that in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I, of course, bought the holiday palette from LYS or holiday trio this year from LYS. I don't think it's the same as last year. Obviously, I'm pretty sure they're very different. But yeah. And then I have a couple of like pots, so I'll put the pots together as well. Um, I have two Milani's. I have this weird bite thing that was from Jaylon. Um, she bought two and she was like, Does anyone want this other one? And I totally wanted to try it. I also have this Florence by Mills one, but um, that one is in a project right now. So these are most of the ones that are like cream. Like, I want to say not pressed, but like, you know, in a, a flat container. And then I also have two pots, one from Planet Revolution and one from Morphe 2. The, these are both from Marshalls, I believe. So those are pots. I'll put those together. And then the rest of these are all like stand up things. So... I know these are going to be too tall in here to close. Oh my God, it fits. Oh my God, it fits. Oh my God, oh my God, it fits. Okay. Um, I am the happiest person right now. I'm just going to quickly grab something because I have an idea. And I think it's going to be a good one. So bear with me. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work. I'm not counting my chickens just yet, but I also have this. It's a lipstick thing. And yeah, this is just going to be a little bit too tall. Oh, man. <laughs> and too tight. <laughs> Dang, because if I had that in there, I could have put all of my little things in there like that ah oh. part of me wants to remove this let me just see now these are gonna hate me right now but I'm gonna have to take this glam light one out for now but if I were to put this one in here let's see if this one fits beside nope that would have been too perfect <laughs> of course it wouldn't fit okay Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take this sticker off. Because I just want to see if it would fit. Oh my god, it would close and I just made a mess of everything. <clears throat> Alright, I think I'm going to keep that in there. I really like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I think because this moves around too much I might have to put them all behind the Juvia's Ooh, oh my gosh I totally am dropping things now I'm getting a little excited about stuff <coughs> excuse me 
<clears throat> okay. Okay, that's a lot better. And oh, see, that's just just a little a little too tight for my liking. I don't even think I'm going to Oh my god, I just broke it. Oh my god. It I totally just broke it. <laughs> ah, okay. That's not going to work. I am not going to do this. I'm just trying to get my product out of here now without completely ruining it. Oh my gosh. You guys. I got it so stuck in here. This is so bad. I can get it out of here. I was just trying to make it too perfect and it's not gonna work oh my gosh I think I've just broken this all right well I think I'm gonna worry about that later because <laughs> I have to get other things going so I'll think about this one later. I cannot believe that would have been way too perfect. That would have just been amazing if that worked. But unfortunately, it's not. And everything's just going to be falling around in here. So, okay. We're just going to lay everything down. So I have a couple of <clears throat> Laura Mercier ones. A couple of P. Louise. I have some of these milk ones. very disappointed that that got stuck in there like that it's my own fault honestly but like that's just too bad I don't think that's gonna fit either so that will have to be laid down <clears throat> and I'll just lay these guys down too I also have some cool ones it's just always nice when things are upright you know I just think that looks so much better But yeah, I think I, I think I've totally got this, like, completely stuck in here. <clears throat> it's not coming out. There's no way it's going to come out. Oh. <sighs> My gosh. I will have to rebuy this, but yeah. I got it so stuck in here that I had to, <laughs> I had to totally mush it in order to get it out. So I'll just have to rebuy that color. It's all good. It's my own fault. I'm sure that would have been like so beautiful, unfortunately, but that is my own fault. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put the NYX Wonder Stick. This is a blush duo. And... Let's see what else. I have a couple of these from Jouer. Um, again, I don't think this, this is going to have to lay down in here because it won't fit anywhere else, unfortunately. Um, I also have a Flower Beauty. That one could have stand up, but no, that's fine. And then I think what I'm going to do right now is... Um, I'm going to put <clears throat> these ones at the back here. They're probably just going to fall all over. Oh my goodness. I should stand up. There. That's better. And then this one can go in here. Um, I do want to put just all of my creams, actually, I think in here and I have some potted ones that I'm just gonna <clears throat> stick along the sides and I still have this other one in a container I also have the wonder it's called wanderlust from NARS it's like purple and I don't think that that is going to fit unfortunately standing up it would if it wasn't in the container um, the alley-oop one can go in here. I have this Florence one. I still have to put all these other ones in here. <laughs> this is just quite the mess. Like, it's going to be quite the mess. And it's not ideal. This is, I mean, if you've seen my other 
my other videos, you know that this is not what I wanted the drawer to essentially look like. But with cream products, it's going to be a lot harder to try to make it look nice because everything is in completely different packaging. Like face palettes are going to be in a large palette. It's going to be all streamlined and it may not be the exact same size, but it's going to be relatively similar. <coughs> Let's see if I can stack these. It seems okay. Do I want to stack them though? Probably not. It is very difficult to figure out how you want things to go. Like I still have to add in all of these and a couple of other things. So... <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really sure how I want to do this. Okay, let's try this. I think I'm just going to take this putty blush out of here. <clears throat> it's a luminous one I've never actually tried the luminous ones oh look how gorgeous that is <coughs> and then I just have a sample I think that's gonna be the way it's gonna have to stay um unfortunately for now I did empty this entire container and I did empty this entire container so every single thing that I originally had in there is in this drawer now and everything closes and everything fits nice and there's still a ton of room in case I want to add stuff and like I said I have more of the LYS blushes coming I just got the holiday kit from Rare Beauty and um what else do I have coming I think I have a couple more liquid blushes yeah I have a few more things coming so things will still fill out in here but um yeah it's unfortunate I kind of wish this was a tinier one so that I could close the drawer because it's just a slight bit too short but everything else fits fine I'm happy with the way that this looks I'm happy that there's a little section that's just for my powders that I know I can eventually take these things out and move them to their proper home, um, especially these highlighters. But um, for now, I'm really happy with this, actually. I didn't think I was going to be, but I can plainly see everything. I can look at everything. I know, like, most of these are, like, the same color pink. <laughs> if I If you're looking at this is the same color as this is the same color as this like really really similar shades so that's quite hilarious i kind of have a a theme but um the nice thing is i can actually see everything like i can see everything and the only thing that disappoints me is that this is too low and that um this is this is too low but other than that, everything else, like, I'm perfectly fine with. And eventually, I will be able to take these things out of their containers. The NARS, the Hydromaniac from Urban Decay. Like, all of these stuff will be out of their containers once I try them. So that makes me happy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am so sorry for getting totally off track and completely demolishing that blush. That was awful. <laughs> but I appreciate your patience. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. I Like I said, I will be doing a declutter at some point. I'm not sure when, <clears throat> but at some point. And um, 
Otherwise, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me use anything, pan anything. Um, if you want to see any get ready with me's with any of these products, let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.